how close was Gordon Hayward to winning the NCAA championship game? To make a basketball shot, three variables have to work together. Launch angle, release velocity, and aim. Hayward's 54 degree launch angle was good, but his release velocity of 28 miles an hour was just barely too strong. Only half a mile an hour less, and the ball rebounds, hits the middle of the inside of the rim, and has a chance. But Hayward's real problem was the x-axis, his aim. If he releases the ball with the same launch angle at only half a mile an hour slower, and the ball hits just three inches to the left on the backboard, Butler wins. From 46 feet, that three inch margin translates to changing the angle on the x-axis of his release by less than half a degree. That's less than the width of the tip of a shoelace. That's also less than the width of the cords of a basketball net, which Duke got to cut down. For Sports Science on ESPN, I'm John Brinkus.